Ron, and thanks for tuning into episode 53 of the Matt Battle Skill Trains podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Matt Rochford, and with me, as always, are my buddies and my co host Matt and Johnny. How you guys doing tonight? Doing pretty good. Can't complain, man. Doing awesome. Doing awesome. All right. Well, tonight's going to be uh, kind of a special episode, uh, something we've never done before, so I'm actually kind of excited. Me too. I think, uh, well, this was Johnny's idea, so I think he should describe it, huh? All right. Um, well, we're doing something super duper complicated <laughs> tonight, which is we've <laughs> planned the maximum amount of 0%. And um, we are uh, actually there is a plan. We're just going to just gonna talk and be train boats tonight. Uh, there's no set topic. Whatever topic comes to mind, we'll chat about it and just uh, do what we do off air, but on air this time. Yeah, there might be a surprise or two, but uh, yeah, you, you guys yeah, have to wait know. and see. Oh boy! <laughs> I, I, I say this, this is uh, this is unscripted. It's unscripted. Get you change the intro, it change bit, everything, you, man. I don't know what see, to do you'll, anymore. You'll see. I I uh, I created a fun activity. So oh boy! Um, <laughs> as always, you can listen to us on uh, your favorite uh, podcast app. Uh, that includes uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, YouTube, Amazon Music, pretty much any one of those. And um, also like your smart radio. So if you uh, ask your smart radio and I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to activate it. But uh, if you uh, ask it to play the Matt Matto Skill Trains podcast, uh, most likely it will find us and you'll be listening to our sweet voices. I also want to mention our Discord server. Again, we are uh, over. You guys will have to kind of uh, check my math, but I, we're like, like what, 2, 210, 220, something like that? Something like that. Uh, over 200, that's for sure. Nothing else. Yeah, we're definitely over 200 for sure. And uh, we got more people joining every day. Again, really cool place to hang out. It's completely free. Uh, we don't ask you anything of you, uh, but uh, that you'll be a really nice person and respect others. But uh, people get in there, they post their videos, they post their photos, they ask for advice. We have a buy and sell forum. Uh, we have kind of like a train tech forum as well, where you're running into an issue. Uh, maybe somebody on the on the uh, Discord will be able to help you out there. So yeah, good place, folks. Uh, and if you have any questions, again, just uh, shoot us an email. Uh, we do have a new URL, uh, really easy to get to us. Uh, it's just uh, Matt M and M podcast.com. That's uh, www.m and M podcast.com. Uh, if you go there, you'll find our homepage. You'll find uh, all the episodes. You can listen to them right directly from your web browser as well. Uh, and of course, uh, last but not least, we'll talk about our merch. Uh, so, you know, we've teamed up with redbobble.com and they handle all our merch. I, I believe we've actually sold a few things in the last couple of weeks. Uh, somebody just bought a, a coffee mug. So I don't know who it is. It doesn't tell me who, but uh, somebody bought a Mad Mad coffee mug. So um, enjoy your coffee, who whoever you are. <laughs> Before we start, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Trains.com. If you are looking for a great deal on used and new model railroading products and want top-notch service, then please head over to trains.com where they have about over 120,000 products with new ones added every day. You can also sign up for their newsletter to see newly listed and newly discounted products and receive advance notice of upcoming promotions. Now, I've been using trains.com myself as well as my co-hosts, and we highly recommend them to our listeners. Now, if you're like us and you're always on the lookout for your next engine, join the Trains Rewards program to earn points on every purchase and unlock future discounts. And if you're an avid collector and want first dibs on new items, sign up for the private car membership to get early access to new listings, earn five points per dollar spent, and unlock great benefits like no questions asked returns. Now, guys, don't forget that uh, you'll need parts to keep your engines and cars operating smoothly. And to do this, Trains has a collection of 15,000 plus parts available on their website for any item you may need. And also, if you're interested in downsizing your collection or know someone who is unfortunately leaving the hobby, Trains also buys collections. So head over to sellmytrains.com to get a quote. And Trains makes it easy to sell your collection. Now, if you do plan on buying from them, please use our affiliate link. 
which is www.trains.com slash MMOP. You can also use our unique one-time promo code MMOP for $10 off a single purchase on the trains.com website. All right. Well, <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about tonight's episode or the unepisode or what uh, what uh, Matt has uh, themed as the uncoupled episode. So this is episode I, 53. I that uncoupled. <laughs> yeah, that, that's I, I like that a lot. Yeah. We're, and we're uh, going to call it. Uh, we're going to call it unplugged. And I'm like, man, as I was at work, right? And I'm thinking, why don't we call it uncoupled? It's a train episode. Come on now. You know? Yep. <laughs> and uh, anything goes, folks. Anything goes. Just like the uh, that song in uh, Indiana Jones, the Temple of Doom. Anything goes. So, I'm sure I made a reference that the other two have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's okay. I know Indiana Jones. All right. The name heard that name who are you <laughs> i don't know that's not on the matt figured matt, out yet that's not on the matt and matt bingo card not understanding the reference <laughs> it is that's not. one to add in there <laughs> i should make one at some point the matt and matt osco podcast bingo card all right we're we're gonna um i'm gonna start off with something really fun uh and everybody uh can actually uh participate even our listeners at home um, although, uh, their points, uh, they'll have to calculate their own points, but you know how you guys kind of always kind of talk about like, you know, you're the master American steam engine experts and you know, everything there is about steam engines. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and test that knowledge. All right. So we're going to play, uh, we're going to play a game of Kahoot. All right. And, uh, I'm going to send you guys a link and, uh, you guys are going to go to this on your on your computer. Uh, now, unfortunately, we're doing this now recording, so this will not work uh, for the people at home. Uh, but uh, for the uh, Matt and Johnny, I'm going to give you a website to go to and I'm going to give you a pin and you're going to go there. OK. All right. Let's see give what me, you got. Give me right. high school flashbacks now. Matt. I was just I was, just, I was literally just about to say that. Well, college, I, I did this in college, too, bro. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Hit it. Uh, I'm going to put it in the discord. This is where you're going to go. Kahoot. Uh, you sent me a cease and desist letter, man. Oops. That was for later. <laughs> oh, okay. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> man, I haven't gone to here in ages. Now, I wanted to keep it a surprise, so that way, you know, you guys can't, uh, you know, go ahead of time and look up the answers. And, of course, this is the honor system, so hopefully you guys are not Googling anything. Uh, but of course, that's not going to help you all much because in this game, speed counts for everything, and you're also timed. So, I don't, I don't know if I don't know if Matt Z's dial up will uh, be able to handle that. Then <laughs> it should Matt be. Matt Z is in. Let's see. Okay, uh, let's here. see. Oh, there we go. My screen was covering up the game pin. There we go. Bro, copy and paste, my guy. All right. Come so on. for the folks at home, um, so J Matt is in. Uh, aka johnny and matt z is in these two will be fighting each other for points uh now uh most of them are multiple choice or or like true false or is what what is this a picture of i believe you have like 20 15 to 20 seconds to answer you're given a few choices and just keep in mind the faster you answer the more points you'll get now for the folks at home i'm gonna go ahead and um read the question i'm gonna read the answers and then um, these uh, two gentlemen are going to answer. Now you guys can read it yourself and answer yourself. You know, I know it's a it's a game you want to compete, but I'm going to do this just for the people uh, listening. Um, most of them you'll be able to do at home. Uh, see how fast you can get the answer. Uh, and uh, if you two are ready, uh, we can start. You know, yeah, it's been so it. long since I've seen this. I just see you're in. I see your nickname. I see your nickname on screen. I don't see you guys in. You can customize your avatar now. What the heck? Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. I think so. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, here we go. American Steam Engines is the master category. There we go. What is the wheel arrangement of this engine? Um, uh, no picture. <laughs> you should see a picture. No, no, no can't. I, I'm gonna, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, no, no picture, buddy. Yeah, usually the way it works with with the classroom environment is that it's displayed on the main whiteboard. But since we can't see your thing, twenty minutes later. Okay, folks, uh, we got it working again. Um, little uh, problem on my end, so we are starting at, uh, I believe, question number four. Looks like, and it. uh, it's a close game. It's a close game. Question number four. What engine is this? Uh, it, it was the DM and IR Yellowstone, and both of the gentlemen got it right. Yay. Oh, J, uh, J-Matt pulled ahead by just a little bit. All right. Question number five. When was the Union Pacific A44 built? 1944, 1938, 1910, or 1921? The answer was 1944. Yeah, wasn't it like the last engine, the steam engine built for UP too? I uh, believe you're correct. Yeah. I think so, yeah. All right. Next question number six. Why is the Southern Pacific 440 4449 famous? It pulled the last daylight train via steam engine. It pulled the American Freedom Train in the mid 1970s, or it was the last steam engine retired in the US. Okay. Answer, of course, is it pulled the American Freedom Train in the mid 1970s. I didn't actually did not know that. You maybe second guess myself really? for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, didn't I know, you didn't know that. I would have guessed Triangle. I didn't. I don't remember what the guess. How many Southern Pacific was. things do I own? Um, the ones I force you to have, yeah, which okay. is the Basically, one, which the ones, is the technicality. The ones you borrow from Johnny. BNSF 4449, and that's not technically even, well, it is technically. It, it, it's real. It's real. <laughs> well, it was. I, which is kind of weird is you think that they keep it in the daylight colors for that excursion because it matches BNSF colors really well, but <laughs> copyright wise. Actually, it does. You're right. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, well so true. far, uh, Johnny is uh, ahead with. 3,770, uh, and Matt is right behind with 3,665. So here we go. Question number seven. Which of these engines is the Polar Express based off of? The Reading 2101, Nickel Plate 765, Union Pacific 9000, or the Pier Marquette 1225? I just, you know, Matt's Reading. Yeah, Reading. Reading. I apologize, everybody. That's for Burnsy specifically. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bur- Bur- Burnsy, you'll ha- Burnsy, you'll have your head if you if you say Reading. Sorry, Burnsy. <laughs> um, he doesn't uh, listen to these things anyway. So everybody is the Pier Marquette uh, twelve twenty five. All right. Thanks. We're keep say moving otherwise. here. <laughs> Matt Z has a streak with five correct answers in a row. Just so everybody knows. Right. Here we go. Which American passenger train is this? Is it the Norfolk and Western's Pocahontas, the Santa Fe Super Chief, the New York Central's 27 Tree Limited, or the Chicago Burlington and Quincy's California Zephyr? It's, it's, of course, that is the New York Central's. It's, 20th, total, it's totally the Super Chief. <laughs> excuse me. New York Central's 27 Tree Limited. Yeah. So, folks listening, I do apologize. There's no way that you can see these. So, some of these are like pictures. Obviously, it's impossible for you guys to see this, but. Uh, I, some of them are general questions. So you know, Matt, what we should do, this is a good idea and I really like it, but I think what we should do is when we try along with video, we should see if there's a way you could screencast the, the, the screen so people can see what we're, what we're well, looking anybody, at. You, I can have, you can have a bunch of people in here. Yeah. We, you can, we can just do one on the discord for anybody that wants to join it. No, oh, we could do that. No, but I'm saying like chaos. to do it on the podcast form. Oh, well, yeah, that's like, true. like what we're doing now. Well, oh, yeah, like, yeah. So yeah like I see what you're saying. Could, the listeners could see what we're doing. Yeah. All right. no, I, this for is a good idea for this, uh, is, this is probably a good trial run then of a test of to see how it goes. Yeah. So, can, I like it can, so far. I'm pretty sure you can post this to make it public, Matt. So people can just use this as a base for their game and they can launch it at home. So if you want to make this a public one that people can use, I remember how you do it, though. It's been ages. Yeah, I didn't. So it, I yeah. didn't. I tried. I tried making one. But um, you need to like, like uh, subscribe and join and stuff. This is one they have like a bunch of just people that just made and somebody made this one. In fact, oh, I think the person that made this one's name was like SP forty four forty nine something. So, <laughs> so this was made for me. It was. Yeah. It was made for you. Did you make this questionnaire, Johnny? <laughs> I know Matt's gonna do kahoot tonight, so I'm gonna make all the questions. <laughs> all right, here we go. Question number nine. Chesapeake, Ohio, 2765 was never built. What famous steam engine is it really? Pier Marquette, 2020, 1225, 
the Southern 4501, the Norfolk and Western 611, or the Nickel Plate 765? Oh, goodness. I think you finally got me a stumper here. Oh, I got and, it. And yes, the answer is the Nickel Plate 765. God, I'm such a foamer. The, the, the number kind of gave it away. but Yeah. <laughs> It, it, was a, it was a guess, though. I'd give you that. You guys are impressing me. Grand Trunk Western 6325 was built in 1942. But what railroad does it operate on today? The Baltimore and Ohio, the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle, the Ohio Central, or the Burlington oh. Northern Santa Fe? Oh, I didn't we get have that actually right. two different answers. The correct answer is actually Ohio Central. Okay. No I found this uh, up by just an off chance, like on a random YouTube video I watched just because I didn't know anything else. Johnny watch. got it right. And Johnny <laughs> has the highest answer streak of eight so far. Mm, the Van, the Vandy tender made right. it look SPNS, but I guess not. that's what I thought. I thought it was 700 for a second, but it's, yeah. Wasn't. All right. We'll keep moving. Question number 11. What kind of trains did Santa Fe 3751 pull in regular service? Fast passenger, fast freight, slow freight, slow local passenger. And that is correct. Yes, both of them got it. The answer was fast passenger. I had to, think about, I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> yeah, I, I did too. So I'm thinking some of these were built as freight, then re geared for passenger. But yeah, I well, the, like it the, pulled, it, the so 3751 pulled the chief. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get one. I'm going to steal Matt R's. He just got his yeah. bags. I'm going to take it away from him. Let me not have it. <laughs> All right. Question number 12. Norfolk and Western 1218 was restored in 1987. What Ned and W engine joined her? Was it the J Class 611 or the Y6A 2156? Give a few folks to think about that. And the answer was the J Class number 611. Um, I'm not, just to kind of keep it moving, I'm not going to waste too much time between, you know, giving all of the possible choices and giving the answer. But if the folks at home want to join in, you're more than welcome just to pause the podcast as we play this right after I ask the question and give the choices, you can pause it, think about it and then give your answer. All right, let's keep it going. What famous American locomotive is shown here? (laughs) And that would be the union Pacific challenger 3985. That is correct. Yeah, for the picture ones, I'm not going to say them because it doesn't make any sense. So, all right, let's keep her going. What helped preserve NW 611 after retirement in 1959? It was rebuilt after discovering defective brakes, an accident and rebuild improved her overall condition, or it was the easiest engine to obtain? The correct answer was an accident and rebuild improved her overall condition. Really? I didn't she, know that. I think she fell off like a riverbed or something. There's like a pitch of her on her side. Yikes. It's a lot of pictures of impaled jays for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and any anything you guys, you know, for the questions that we go over, you want to plug in your own kind of uh um, you know, uh tidbits on it, or if you have it in 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 uh, uh model railroading or anything else, you know, feel free to to, uh, I got kinda, I got one of those Proto One. It'll get eventually converted to Proto Three when the time and money permit. Hopefully, it doesn't fall nice. off the table. Like the, <laughs> I was oh, just saying, did that one fall <laughs> off? <laughs> no, that's good. It's prototypical. It took a nosedive off the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question fifteen: How many big boys were built for the Union Pacific? Ten, forty, twenty-five, or five? That is correct. The answer was 25. Almost the wrong one. <laughs> well, which one did you pick? You were, you were going to hit 40, weren't you? I was very close <laughs> to hitting 40. I'm like, there's no way yeah. there's a big boy no, 40. 40. Yeah. Well, that's because you, you, because of the, yeah, because of the first numbers are 40, you're like, oh, eight, 40, 40. And you're like, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I was going off of what the JLC one was, the one that I got for Sid. 40, 24. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, it was 4,000 through 40, 24. All right. Next question. J Matt has a little bit of a lead over Matt Z, but it's not over, folks. (laughs) 
Mission 16. Yet. What did the New York Central call a 482 steam locomotive? Mountain, Mohawk, Consolidation, or Pacific? And I think they I think they had a picture of a Niagara there. That that threw me off so hard. I'm like, oh, that's yeah, a Niagara. I, was, I, I looked at <laughs> I looked at the PT tender. I'm like, wait a minute, that's a Niagara. The answer uh, I, is uh, Mohawk for is, everybody out there. You you phrased that a lot nicer than I would have done. I would just said, <laughs> I would just said, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I know like, it's like, Niagara I because I hate how it looks. I looked at the picture and I'm like, wait, 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 wait where's Niagara? <laughs> Dude, I did, I did a full lap of the answers. I'm like, wait. Wait, I know, I know, I know. The East Coast answers. We're gonna, we're gonna screw me over. But <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't trust the photo all of the time. So <laughs> let's keep moving. What were the big boys primarily used on the Union Pacific? The Wasatch Mountains between Wyoming and Utah, Sherman Hill between Cheyenne and Laramie, Wyoming, between Cheyenne, Cheyenne and North Platte, Nebraska, between Cheyenne and Salt Lake City. All right, and. The answer, of course. I, I got correct answer for Wasatch because that's what the big boys yeah. were supposed to be called. The Wasatch. Yeah, that's true. That's correct. Yeah. It was the Wasatch. Yeah, I know. That was weird. It kind of like highlighted them weird. All right. Question 18. Where was Pier Marquette 1225 on display before it was in the process of restoration? Oak Park in Portland, Oregon, or on the campus of Michigan State University? Mm. I'm not sure on that one. Oh, got it right. It is correct. On the campus of Michigan State University is the answer. What famous steam engine is this? It is the Chesapeake and Ohio. I'm sorry. What were we going to say before, Johnny? I was going to say the reason I think if memory serves me right, because I used to be obsessed with 1225 because everybody is at some point if they're a, a, if they're a steam foamer. Um, you 1225 was at, uh, the Michigan, uh, university campus. And it was a case where the person who wrote the Polar Express book would go to football games at that university and he'd see 1225. When he wrote the book and did illustrations, he loosely based it off of 1225. And when the movie came out, 1225 was up and running. So it was perfect because, of course, 1225 dated Christmas. And also it was the engine that the author saw as a child up and running again. That gotcha. off of. That's cool. That's cool. That makes sense. All right. Question number 20. Where was 4449 put on display after donation to Portland, Oregon? Oaks, Oaks Amusement Park, Cheyenne Roundhouse, Michigan State University. <laughs> The answer, of course, is the Oaks Amusement Park. I didn't know that. And there she stays in Oaks Park. <laughs> I think, Johnny, if you didn't get that one right, Johnny, you would have to turn in your badge. I have to return all of my daylights. You have to sell all your daylights and buy all black daylights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and folks, I do my, I'll do my best to pronounce all these cities and stuff. So I do apologize ahead of time if I kind of say a city like, partly incorrectly like you know i kind of say things with my illinois chicago accent or how i would interpret it so i do oh, so apologize you're, ahead of time. you're not you're, you're not going to call it uh haggerstown maryland haggerstown <laughs> that was hilarious i still love that sitting i joke about that one all the time <laughs> ryan corrected you that was funny <laughs> that's fine hey you know what i have no problem with people telling me how to say something uh in their part of the woods so or uh or, or our personal favorite, Mike Reagan. <laughs> Mike Reagan. Sure. <laughs> hey, he, hey, he ripped you a new one for that one. <laughs> he did. The whole show, too. <laughs> yes, it is Mike Reagan. So, all right. Question 21. True or false? Union Pacific 844 was never retired from the Ray Rose active roster. The answer, of course, is true. She spends her I, life melting snow. I I knew that, and I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> well, Johnny's pulling ahead here, but there's still a lot of questions left. So, all right, 22. How long did it take to restore Challenger 3985? Oh, 10 God. years, 15 years, 5 years, or 2 years? I actually don't know this one. I don't know either. I'm just going to pick one. Ah. Uh, nope. The correct answer was two years and nobody got it right. Really? Two years, huh? Yep. What were the years? 
Uh, <laughs> they were right next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> very specific. <laughs> of course, it was very specific. This is really right. fun. I, I like this. All right, let's keep moving on. All right. Question 23. How many total challengers were purchased by the Union Pacific? 36, 105, 75, or 200? Hmm. I think that one. No. Okay. The correct answer was 105. That's a hard one hmm. because challenger can encompass both early and late challenger. Yeah. Yeah. And plus with challengers, some of them were uh, the UPs. They were given other railroads and they were they came back and a couple other things. Oh, yeah. Clinchfield and Rio Grande got some of them, didn't they? Yep. They got some after the UP. And I think I think they were sold back. A couple were sold back to the UP or something. I forget. I think, how it goes. Yeah, I think Rio Grande hated them. <laughs> yeah. Because they, they made their own challenger. They made the L105s. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on. Question number 24. How many J's were built for the Norfolk and Western? 30, 60, 28, or 14? I think Matt might get this one. Answer was 14. Yeah. Sorry about that. I I, I don't believe the, the question. So these are manually done by somebody. Uh, I think they uh, forgot the uh, the word many in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was to say, how J's? Uh, uh, wouldn't it be? Oh, uh, Jays. Yeah, how J's? Wouldn't it be like, you know, iron, steel, and metal? Yeah. And, but Matt, know. how J make big chug? <laughs> how <laughs> NW make big J? Exactly. <laughs> big exactly. brain answer, give please. <laughs> All right. Well, Matt is catching up a bit. Here we go. What was the route of Southern Pacific's Coast Daylight Passenger Train? LA to El Paso, San Francisco to LA, Sacramento to Oakland, or Oakland to Seattle? This is unfair to Matt Z. This guy's just as biased as I am. It is a California only, and it's San Francisco to LA was the correct answer. Which one I click? I just, uh, <laughs> you got it wrong. To LA. You must have did so you just you chose Sacramento to Oakland, probably. Oh, you know what? That's why. Because I put Oakland at the end. That's why. Johnny got the Southern Pacific question wrong. Holy smokes. It's what happens when I ask Isaac to mix three different daylight PFAs in a GS. I get confused. Because <laughs> yeah. I've got the Shasta and the morning daylight mixed up in there. Shasta. All right. Okay. I model sandwich. Uh, it's fine. Here we go. Question 26. What was the route of the NNW's Cavalier? Roanoke to Norfolk, Roanoke to Cincinnati, Columbus to Blue Ridge, Roanoke to Columbus. Oh God. Oh God, I have no I don't I've, I've literally have no idea. I'm trying to think of PFAs in my head. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> the correct answer was Roanoke to Cincinnati. Matt Z is on a uh, on a streak. Matt Z is making a comeback with three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. You're gonna jinx me. I'm gonna get the next one. Around. Don't call it a comeback. He's been here for years. <laughs> no, no, he's come back a couple of times. That's good. What was the route of the <laughs> New York City's 20th Century Limited? Chicago to NYC, NYC to Boston, Boston to Washington, or Washington to Chicago? Of course, the correct answer is Chicago to New York City. You wouldn't have bought one if it didn't come to Chicago. I was going to say, yeah. Right. I remember back in the day he had one of those. I did. It was a beautiful and, engine. And he sold it before I met him. I, I pretty, I, I, you know, I kind of regret it, actually. That was a beautiful yeah. Hudson. Yeah. yeah I maybe I'll come out with a Vision Line one or something. A Vision Line one. I also hunt down the TMCC one. That one's Vision Light Hud, I, Vision Light Hudson's, you know, like, like a whole, you know, kind of the, like they did with the, you know, the GS, the, the GS is like just make a whole bunch of Hudsons, make them visual line and just, you know, all kinds of uh, different uh, road, uh, road names and road numbers and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. We need some there William level, Williams levels of uh, different fantasies. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, please don't do that, Brian. I know you listen to us. Don't do that. <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, he has the a, highest answer a, streak of four right now. Give us uh, Empire State Express, uh, Dreyfus Hudson. Yep. 
The silver and black. I'm just going to saw off the fins at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question 28. What was the largest steam engine ever built? The 210, the 4884, the 21002, or the 2666? Oh, God, I'm trying to remember. Just going to go with. I think it was that one. No. Which one? Which one? Uh, which one well, the 4884 would be a good attempt, but the 21002 um, actually was the largest steam engine ever built. I'm surprised the S1 isn't on that list. I was going to say the S1, yeah. I think I think the S1 is bigger than the just slightly bigger than the 210. Dude. It's all in the tender, dude. It's all in the tender. <laughs> yeah, that the tender on that S1 is ridiculous. I was actually Steve, looking at well, one on eBay today. The question is, what is the largest steam engine ever built? Not well, steam engine that's, with the tender. So that's true. I, I guess you can kind of read that different ways. I guess you can kind of interpret that a couple different ways. So yeah. Yeah, I was right. looking at one of those S ones today on eBay, and I looked at the picture. I'm like, God, that thing is huge! I forgot how big it is. Huge. I've yet to see one run actually, like properly run. They're nice. They're really nice. Okay, question twenty nine, folks. What three engines are seen on the head of this passenger train? And the correct answer was Southern forty five hundred one, N and W six eleven, and N and W twelve eighteen. Uh, I chose Thomas, Percy, and James. Yeah. <laughs> that that would have also been a correct answer. There you go. Mm-hmm. All, right. All right. Keep her going. Johnny has peaked 20,000. Matt's <laughs> closing in. Yeah, we're getting there. What was the route of Southern's Queen and Crescent Limited? Was it Cincinnati to New Orleans or New Orleans? Washington to New Orleans? Cincinnati to Washington or Baltimore to Washington? Oh God! I have no idea. <laughs> correct answer, uh, which they both got. Oh no, I'm sorry. They both did not get the correct answer. The correct answer was Cincinnati to New Orleans. No kidding. Oh, yeah, the New Orleans part, right. that makes sense. Or I'm sorry, Cincinnati to New Orleans. So I said, DJ would have you there. So yeah, DJ, DJ and, and RJ would have known the answers to this. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Are just listening to this laughing. What passenger train is this? Oh. oh. <laughs> I already know this. <laughs> you both better got that right. Is that is it the first Noel? Is the that first a, Noel? A that was train? funny. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't hold on. Let me look it up. Right. The answer was the blue goose. I know you guys can't see it, but the answer was the blue goose. So. I don't know what those are. I've never seen one before. I've only seen the uh the colored version of the pink goose, right, Matt? Uh, that's, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't think that was a real thing. Crimbus is the answer. Yeah. Hey, if you use a colorizing app, it turns the blue goose pink. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Pink goose. The pink goose, yes. What steam engine is shown here? An odd picture to use. I, I was going to say very odd picture to use. Isn't that? Isn't it looks like from a video game. Yeah, it's from yeah, Train that's, Sim. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Sim. The answer, of course, was the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle number seven hundred. All right, let's move on here. Thirty-three of the twenty-five big boys that were built, how oh, many are God. still around today? Twenty, twelve, fifteen, or eight? Eight. Yes, the correct answer is eight. Literally, I was just thinking of your caboose. You got at your command. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I think, oh, wait, how many yeah. are on the survivor caboose? Exactly. <laughs> I really wish I would have bought that off of you. Dude, there's so many of those on eBay right now. I've been, they're like popping up left and right. Yep. Yeah, for how much? Uh, a price. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Those, those tend to go pretty high, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I'll find one. I, I do want ones. They are really cool. And I got the GG1 Survivor caboose, so I might as well get the other one to go with it, you know? Hmm. All right. Let's keep, keep going. going. Question 34. 
What was the main use of the 266 on the CNO? Was it hauling freight over the Blue Ridge Mountains, dragging coal trains over the Allegheny Mountains, fast passenger trains over Christiansburg Mountain, or slow double headed freight trains on the flat district? And the answer, of course, is dragging coal trains over the Allegheny Mountains. Actually, it looks like it looks like both blue, looks like both hauling freight over the Blue Ridge Mountains and dragging coal trains over the Allegheny Mountains are both right. Well, here's the thing, though: Blue Ridges, are, Blue Ridges are what they would they called the Virginian ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the so, Virgi- yeah, the Virginian called them Blue Ridges. But that still doesn't same, make sense. They, they asked about the CNO one specifically, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, technically right. Yep. All right, 35. What is the wheel arrangement of the Union Pacific 9081? Is it a 212 2, a 4664, a 2882, or a 412 2, or a 138439? That's the last one, obviously. <laughs> Second only to the 11112. <laughs> yeah, the, so the correct answer is it's, it's definitely a 412 2. Right. Matt peaked 20. Here we go. Question 36. What articulated steam giant is shown here? You ran one of these, didn't you, Matt R? Huh? You ran one of these at Grandpa George's house, didn't you? Yes, I did. The M1. Yep. Yeah. So the B and O M1 was shown. You think they would like like Photoshop some of like the you know, some of the naming on the picture away. So people just don't like look at it and figure it out. But, you know, that's okay. That's true. All right. Question 37. Is NNW 611 still in operation today? No or yes? Of course, the answer is yes. Well, if this was a really outdated Kahoot, we all answered yes and just said no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said that was the thing. Technically, technically, it was for a little while. It was out of service. I forgot it was at Strasbourg for a second. I almost hit no. <laughs> yep. So Matt Z has the highest answer streak of seven right now. Question 38. What, under what nonprofit is the NKP number 765 still operated today? Or nickel plate. Is it the Steam Railroading Institute of Owasa, Michigan, the Fort Wayne RHS Fort Wayne, Indiana, or the Oregon Rail Heritage Center in Portland, Oregon? The answer, of course, was the Fort Wayne. Uh, what is that? The Railway uh, Society. Yep. Railway Historical Society. Uh, Railway yeah. Historical Society. Got a chance to Fort Wayne, that, Indiana. Got to run right behind that engine. It's actually really cool. All right. Under what nonprofit is the Milwaukee 1261 still operated today? Friends of the 4449, Steam Railroading Institute. Friends of the 261 or Friends of the NNW? It's like 12, the answer, of course, nine. is the Friends of the 261. Okay. 12 questions left. Where is the 765 in this picture? Sherman Hill, Wyoming? Horseshoe Curve, PA? Pacific Cascades in Oregon, California? Or Northeast Corridor, New England? And, of course, the answer is the Horseshoe Curve in Pennsylvania. I was hoping it was top right, left, center, that sort of thing. (laughs) Where is it on my screen? Question 41. When was UP3985 restored to operating condition after retirement in 1959? Was it 1975, 1991, 1981, or 1985? Correct answer is 1981. I kind of remember pulling that that big load of an uh, intermodal car. It says, hey, technically that's accurate. If someone wants to run a uh, Challenger with intermodal, technically it was done. I like the yep. one where they pulled the circus train. That was still my favorite excursion. It did that too because you got those cars. So I do. I don't have the scale, uh, Challenger now. I, if I if 
if I would have had the cash, I would have bought one from one of our friends. And I know you know exactly who I'm talking about. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> All right. Question 42. When was the last excursion run for cotton belt number 819? Was it 1986, 2001, 1997, or 1993? This, this would be something great northern than Jason would know. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I nobody got the answer right. The correct answer is 1993. 93. Okay. I wouldn't have gotten it. My second guess was 97. That one's, a, that one's one that a lot of people forget about. I, honestly, I, I, I didn't even know what it was. I, I, just picked, I just picked one. I think it was Cotton Belt's variation of like the GSs, like a, an offshoot of, a, of, a, of their northerns. Gotcha. That's complete. That could be completely wrong. I just sound really confident. I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, you did know, you know, the route of the, uh, you know, the, the forty-four, forty-nine. Oh wait, huh. you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Did it ever <laughs> run that route? But show me proof. I know there's proof. There's gonna be like eight people <laughs> who are gonna show me in the Discord tomorrow after this episode drops. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to all the people say, "Oh, how we got all this stuff wrong." Next question. Who was responsible for the restoration of the Pier Marquette 1225? The Friends of the 4449, the MCURCC, MSTRP, the Steam Railroading Institute, or the, what are these things? The FWRRHS. I, I don't even know what these are, so I can't even give you what the, the full the, name of this the Fort, acronym is. The Fort Wayne is the last one. The oh, yeah. Okay. One. Matt, you aren't supposed what to is, read the crossword lines. What is the one that has the correct answer? Do, do you guys know what that is? I, I um, hold on. Let, let me I, uh, let me look it up. I didn't get Michigan it. State University Railroading Club. Probably, yeah, that sounds right. That sounds right. And then the Michigan the Michigan State Train Railroading people. I believe so. Something along those lines because it was definitely a club started by the students there that got twelve. Yeah, okay, school. that makes sense though. Let's see. I was gonna say, Matt, you're not supposed to read the entire line of the word search for an answer. I was just going to say, uh, where is it? Let's see. Yeah, Michigan State Railroad Club. Okay. Yeah. 1969, a group of MSU students formed the Michigan State University Railroad Club as a rail fan group. And you can read the rest about it on Wikipedia. I wonder how many universities have railroad clubs. That's kind of cool. I know the I'm kind of uh, curious. I know the university did not like 1225 being on their property. It was actually kind of forced on them and they were very close to scrapping the thing. But oh, wow. there, was a, there was a clause or some kind of contractual agreement where they weren't allowed to. So okay. the students restored it and then they had to quickly get it off of property because the university hated the engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, next question. What articulated steam in, I'm sorry, what articulated steam giant is shown here? Hmm, I think we've seen this question before. At least no, we haven't. It's an 060T. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, the answer was Chesapeake, Ohio, 1604. All right, almost done. Where was the NNW 611 restored in 1981 and where was it restored in 2015? Irondale Shops at the Transportation Museum in North Carolina or the Cheyenne Steam Shop in Portland Roundhouse, Oregon? Answer, of course, is the Irondale Shops in the Transportation Museum of North Carolina. Yeah, stream irons at Spencer. MTH made all the diesels to go with it. 46. What famous streamlined passenger train is shown here? That's a beautiful photo of that. I don't see many photos of that. Of that uh, yeah, that. And, uh, the Especially answer uh, was the Baltimore and Ohio's Cincinnatian. Uh, and just so you folks know, I'll um, I'll go ahead and put the link for this particular um, Kahoot question. I'll put it in the show notes. That way, if anybody else out there wants to kind of like either do it with your friends or take it again and see what you can do, um, uh, you'll have access to it. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and. You know what, Matt? You're not too far behind. You can do this, Matt. Come on. Let's see. How many times has 4449 worn the scheme of the American Freedom Train? Five times, 10 times, four times, or twice? 
20. And uh, we have two quick answers. And the correct answer, of course, is twice. There was one for 76 and the other one for uh, Mm 9-11. Question 48. What famous streamlined passenger train is shown here? <laughs> Don't even need to uh, to go into this one. The answer was the Southern Pacific's daylight. Damn it. I hate to text Johnny, special. Johnny, imagine if you got that one wrong. I hit text a special. It. Oh, oh well. <laughs> no, I did not hit text a special for those who are about to tease me for it. I'm looking at you, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question 49. What steam engine is shown in this picture? Yeah, and the answer was the Southern Pacific 2472. It is weird that they show the picture with the road numbers and then the answers have the road number in there. It's have they what they should have done is, is in the answers, not put the road number. Did they but, did they make a model this in three rail yet, Matt and Z? I think third rail did. Oh yeah, third rail makes a model of everything. I don't think I don't think Lionel or MTH has made a model of this yet, or a proper one, I guess. All right. Question fifty: What steam engine is shown in this picture? Uh, what? Uh, it's the same answer twice. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I, like, Did you really? I like how you both I, picked uh, two different, uh, both each one too. So the answer was Union Pacific 5511, but it's, it's both answers. So I, I don't, that's kind I, of a I'm, weird question. But I got it wrong. Yeah. Well, both of them are the same yeah. answer, but I got it wrong. <laughs> Did you really? I did. Oh, you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did. <laughs> oh, look, you, you picked red. I chose, uh, I, I chose I the right one. So, all right. There's, there's, well, we're not done yet, but there's been two bloopers show so far in this questionnaire. All right, last question, guys. Second no, last. two more questions. On the CNO, a 266 was called an Allegheny. But what did the Virginian what did what did the Virginian call this engine? Okay, this oh, right. <laughs> picture. That, that, did you guys notice that picture? Yeah, it's Eric's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the answer, of course, was the bloop. Uh was it the Cascade, the Blue Ridge, the Wasatch, or the Rocky? Uh, answer, of course, was the the Blue Ridge. Oh, I'm gonna run my Virginia Rocky today. <laughs> I'm gonna run my Adrian. <laughs> hey, just like hey, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna run my Wasatch today, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll run my Wasatch too. There you go. Hey, Mickey. All right, <laughs> enough Rocky impersonations. All right, uh, all right. Last question. 52 52. Who took this famous photo of NW 611? Was it Matthew Brady, Edward Mubridge, Edward Weston, or O. Winston Link? I didn't even have to look at the picture. The answer was <laughs> O. Winston Link. All right. Here we go, folks. Here's the podium. Let's see. Drum roll, please. Eric won. What? In second <laughs> place, we have Matt Z with 34,030. And in first place, we have Johnny or J Matt with thirty seven thousand three hundred and fifty nine. So you guys did really good. You guys, you guys would have blown me out of the water without without any doubt. It wouldn't even have been close. But um, you folks at home, you have the numbers, you have the scores. I will send you the link. See if you can beat these scores. And if you can uh, go ahead and post it in the episode forum. Uh, uh, in our episode form for this particular episode, episode 53, post a screenshot uh, of your um, of your score and uh, we'll see what everybody gets. This is fun. You guys this like this? Really, I actually really yeah. enjoyed this. This is really fun. I think Good. it was fun. You, you know what we should do one of these times is I, I think that we should make one, but have it be like podcast themed. Oh God. Like, like like certain things we've done on the podcast or oh, stuff like, that, like an actual you know like I mean? question on us like yeah when did matt and matt do this talk about this what episode was this how many yeah, times has matt r coughed on camera wait to cut it off <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> or how many times well, have I 53 episodes 53 times 20 uh <laughs> <laughs> a lot of coughs and sneezles <laughs> mm-hmm. no this oh, was yeah. this was definitely <laughs> really fun and I definitely would like to do something like this for in the discord as well. 
Yeah. Um, we can uh, post a, a, a kind of a schedule in the Discord. Whoever wants to join, <laughs> excuse me. Can you <laughs> See, I'm coughing. Three, two, <laughs> one. So what we'll do is we'll post a, a link in the Discord with a date and a time. And then we're ready to go. I'll post the link. You just have to, all you have to do is you go to this link, you put in the pin, special pin number, and then you're in. And I don't know how many supports this one here, but uh, here, I want to take a screenshot of this too. So I can have it. There we go. So the five difficult questions were who was responsible for the restoration of the Pier Marquette? What was the last excursion run belt for the Cotton Belt 819? What was the route of the Southerns, Queen, and Crescent Limited? What was the largest steam engine ever built? <laughs> and how long did it take to restore Challenger 3985? Those are hard questions. Those are very yeah, hard those questions. Those are kind of like you, you almost have to know. Like the yeah. two 10, 10, 10, that honestly, that, that was a curveball. That, yeah. that really was a curveball. Yeah, I think so. You'd have, you're, you'd, you'd have to be like v- extremely knowledgeable in real trains, or your name would have to be Tim. Yes. <laughs> which he's both he's tim and knowledgeable mm-hmm. he's t- tim knowledgeable tim knowledgeable I say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So those words don't go good together very well uh but there's a there's a ton of you know custom made you know train questionnaires on this kahoot thing so i'm glad that there are people out there making these things because there's an absolute ton of them like this one was just like steam based but there are there are ones that are like you know both steam and diesel and ones that are uh, there was one like a Lego one like somebody was like you know is this a Lego or a real engine or something like that I don't know I was I was kind of flipping through the different ones in there uh, but yeah this is pretty cool definitely yeah. something to play with friends and something to play uh, with uh, uh, you know it's not really made for two people but obviously since this you know this is our little podcast we may do but you know when you get like. 10 people in there that's when things start to get interesting are we hosting a panel next year at york uh, matt and matt cahoot <laughs> matt, matt matt in cahoot in cahoot that's what it in cahoot so we should so we kind of did this on the way back from york this year actually when you did the uh the trivia questions when we were driving yep yeah although i'd be kind of afraid of the person driving uh you know looking at the pictures and answering the questions jason will be fine don't worry yeah. <laughs> well that was my little fun thing uh you guys got anything to bring up uh not really i mean this, I, i'm not gonna lie this was this wasn't really yeah this really wasn't what i was expecting we were gonna do tonight but uh, i didn't cool. you know what i probably could have picked one that was a with a little less questions <laughs> i didn't realize it was gonna take almost an hour uh uh, so that was my bad. But, oh, yeah. um, this is, this is I thought fun. it was kind of I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it would like fill the time pretty pretty well, and I think it would um, encourage uh, uh, other conversations between us, uh, yeah, especially with the trivia and stuff like that. It was, it was cool. I mean, I I liked it. Makes me realize I need to buy more trains. Are you guys, <laughs> well, you know, speaking of that, are you guys um, expecting anything this month? Is, is Santa bringing you anything? Are you are you looking for something in particular? Did you order something that's coming in this month? I'm waiting for my passenger cars to show up. They're supposed to come today and FedEx delayed them. Uh, they were out for delivery. And then I look at my phone and delay. Come. What what passenger cars were those, man? I bought the uh, J- Johnny actually found it for me. The uh, Amtrak uh, Superliner. Uh, for oh, me. yeah, that's right. Oh, from yeah. our from our, our sponsor trains. Yeah, from trains. That's trains with a Z now. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you yeah. got those, dude. They're kind of, they're kind of hard to find that whole set in one. They are. I mean, it, it, when you find them, they're expensive. I mean, the set I got them, I paid a, you know, I paid what I should have for those. But I bought the transition sleeper, and that was an expensive car. For I one really, car, it was a lot of money. I and really like the mean, K-Line version. It was the it was the cheapest one I could find on eBay at the time. So it's like, I mean, if I'm gonna get it, now's the time to get it. So I bought it, but it's like eh, I really didn't feel great spending that amount of money on it. But oh well. I really want to get speaking the of, uh, so expensive. Speaking of speaking of trains really quickly, um I did get kind of an early notice so on December 3rd uh which oh, that too. <laughs> will probably be either the time this goes up or a couple days after 
Um, Trains is doing a 10% off all Lionel products. And if you use the code, all capital Lionel, and then the number is 22. So that's all, all capital I, I, I know how to spell uh, L I O N E L two, two. Um, you'll get 10% off any Lionel product that they have. And apparently this is the last kind of discount that they're doing for this year uh, up until like a new year's Eve discount, which they'll be doing something then, which I have no idea what that is. They usually do one. So expect like a new year's Eve thing. But if you're looking to buy something in December from trains, this is uh, this is the last code that you're going to find. And and that, that and that's only on December 3rd, just so people know. No, uh, I believe it's. Actually, that is a good question. Yeah. I was I was looking at it. Yeah, it says December 3rd only. Oh, OK. There you go. So either right. you use the, the I was, discount. I was on trains yeah. before we started the call tonight. You All right. Well, trained. folks, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I, hopefully I get this posted before 12 three. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but we'll post something in the Discord too, just to make sure people are are aware. That's awesome. Cool. I I, I gotta buy this stuff. So much stuff I want to get right now, and I, I have to prioritize the holidays coming up right now as well. It just takes a massive chunk out of your of your it, train budget. It really does, especially if you yeah. have like a lot of people to to pay, to buy for too. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mm. Well, you got yourself a, a Christmas present, didn't you, Matt? I did. I did get myself a Christmas present. Yes, you did. It's coming Saturday, right? Um, well, depends on Maybe. how fast UPS. I think UPS has it slated for Tuesday of next week. Um, but a lot of times it it the date changes coming because really the, the East Coast to me is it, usually not is pretty quick. So it's not like it's going like cross country to like California and stuff like that, but uh but yes, I have um, one of the new uh, Santa Fe uh, uh, Texas is coming, uh, which is I'm very, very excited for that. So curious what that sounds like. I, I presume it's just going to have the standard five whistles and bells, but I'm curious what it will how it how it fares the MTH version. They do. You know what? I have to say, I've been pretty happy with all of the Santa Fe steam engines and the whistle choices that Lionel has been giving them. So mm-hmm. I'm hoping they continue that route. Um, so, uh, y- you know, uh, I'm, I'm confident that the, they're going to put some decent whistles in there. I mean, to be honest with you, all it needs to have is one good whistle and I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as, as, as long as it's got the 3751, I think that's the one that most people want. That's almost honest. a guarantee at that point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah or, although I don't, I don't know if that was I don't think I don't think the 3751 was the 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 chime whistle that was used in the in the Texas, but I could be wrong. No, I I honestly I, I really don't know to be honest. I know more about yeah, the MTH sure. version than I do the line out version, but that's because the line out version is is barely out at this moment. We've only seen slight previews from from certain folks. I've seen sports. some pictures of it, but I have I've been scouring for any kind of video. Uh, for people to post the whistles so um might be a couple more days maybe on maybe this weekend somebody will post something um mm-hmm. the whistle on it hopefully that is a nice engine though i i do nice. i do wish i could get one though i don't know if i if i get the lionel one or the mth one if at all so we'll see need more santa uh, fe I'm buying too much sp as of late well i kind of um i kind of fell into uh I really liked it. Uh, so I got, I got a chance to play with an MTH one and I was kind of like, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> but, uh, so I kind of fell in love with it and, uh, and it's, it's a freight steam engine and I really don't have too many, if any Santa Fe, uh, freight steam engines. So I thought it was really good to, uh, add it to my arsenal. And I did get 5011, um, uh, just because it's an, an existing, Texas that's still around in the at the uh, the transportation museum in St. Louis. If 5011 wasn't there, I probably I should say probably I would have definitely ordered the the Midnight Chief. Um, I think that that paint scheme looks really good uh, on that engine. Yeah, my uh, my uncle's got that one coming, and when I get a when I get around to uh, going up there, and he has it, I'll be sure to take pictures. Absolutely, yeah, that one looks sharp. I mean, that would have probably 
kind of like topped off my Santa Fe paint scheme checklist because I really pretty much have everything. I have everything but the the Santa Fe, the Midnight Chief scheme. Now, of course, so people know the Midnight Chief scheme is technically a fantasy paint scheme. Um, but that's okay. I, I think it looks really, really cool. So eventually I'll get something with the uh with the Midnight Chief or you know, you know, whatever you guys want to black bonnet, whatever black whatever bonnet, folks yeah. want to call it. It, it has a couple of names. You've technically got one for your diner. Isn't that black bonnet? Yeah, that's like black <laughs> I do. Bonnet. My, my little uh, K-Line diner is a black bo- Santa Fe black bonnet diner. So close enough. <laughs> that's that's the, 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 that counts. Position. That that yeah. counts as that counts. Uh, as an item on my layout, right? So yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Uh, I I gotta go out and and hunt down. Some more UP cars after playing with yours, Matt. I I really uh I really need to get some. I actually got my my DB40 running running finally. Um, I say running in the loosest of terms because it's a glorified dummy Proto One engine, but I actually managed to swap the coupler out on that thing by myself. Nice, I mean, dude. Which you know it doesn't matter because it doesn't doesn't work in terms of electronics. So just swapping a coupler isn't that hard. I actually managed to snag it off of the um. The GS2 tender, the Rail King one, Matt Z, the yeah. the, ex, the old trucks that Sid used to have on there. I just oh, yeah. I just stole a couple of them and I swapped it. I was like, wait, hold up. I've got this. It'll work. As long as I've got a couple on the back of my GS2 tender, because you know I'm gonna use it. Yeah. <laughs> are you are you gonna perf- which one are you gonna so to those who don't know, um I asked Sid to make me a more of a unique engine is the best way to put it. Uh, it's the Daylight uh, Atlantic, the TMCC one that Lionel made ages ago that came in that set. Um, it was my one of my first TMCC steam engines I bought my own. I paid, I think, quite literally 100 bucks for the thing because the guy selling it had it on a piece of G-scale track and so like, labeled it Lionel 3000. So everybody was like, what the heck is this? And they passed it. I got it. And it's a one-chuff wonder. So we upgraded to four chuffs. But it also made me a secondary optional tender that's completely fantasy which is a Rail King Imperial GS2 tender or GS4 tender that has a different sound card in it. So it's got the default stock sounds and a legacy 4436 a sound card in there, which I've decided to let go to Matt Z. And I'm curious, Matt Z, which, which tender are you going to use more, dude? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like them both, to be honest. I, I, the GS2 tender really fits it well. I mean, like, it was a joke, but it, it looks good. I mean, you, like, you really... You could pair it up, and you really wouldn't know the difference. I mean, I don't know. I am gonna swap the card though. I, I've, eventually, here I'll have a uh, a real GS4 coming from our buddy uh, Roman out in California. Um, and surprisingly, that's also at my house. <laughs> yes. So once I get that and get that on the road, I'm gonna take the card out of the GS2 tender. I'll throw it for parts. You know, I have it as a spare because you can't buy it anymore. So I'll have that mm-hmm. as a spare. And then I'm gonna probably have a, a Niagara card thrown in it just so just so I can have that because like the that. Uh, the tender. I mean, when you put the pair together, you could you could throw a Niagara card that in that it would sound good. It'd be I like, like your the P10. Niagara card. Yeah, the P10. Yeah, I got a a third rail brass P10 from our buddy uh, DJ, who has been on the for the older fans of the podcast. He was very present uh, in the earlier days. Um, mm. Very nice brass engine. I, I was actually running it earlier today. It is fantastic. I have my uh, long haul K4 coming, and I got a Camelback from the uh, Long Island uh, catalog. Camelback, I got those two on the way from him, uh, probably today at the time of this show. Nice. So we'll see. It, it'll be on my end of year list for sure. All right, folks. Well, I think uh, we've uh, this this episode turned out, you know, fairly well. I would say, uh, you know, it was a one of those things where it was kind of like you know, we wanted to kind of do a trial and see you know how one of these like just uh uncoupled episodes would go and i think it turned out very well uh we really or i enjoyed the questionnaire a lot and it's something that we want to kind of move to do more in the future and even do more uh for people in the discord server as well so if you do have any comments on this if you listen to the episode you like what we did you liked the um the Kahoot questionnaire thing, you know, drop some comments in the for us, you know, in the in the Discord. Let us know how you liked it, if you thought it was good, if you thought it worked, 
And, uh, you know, again, we'd like to do more stuff like this in the future. Go ahead and uh, take us out. Uh, Johnny, where can people find you on social media? You can find me on YouTube at Automus. That's A-U-D-A-M-U-S. You can also find me on Instagram as well at Automus underscore trains and Facebook at that same name. You can also find me on the Matt and Matt Discord server. I'll usually in the text chats or voice chats making a fool of myself. So it's a lot of fun. Come on down and hang out with us there. And Matt Z, where can people find you, sir? You can find me on YouTube under Matt Dash Train Lover 9943. Uh, Facebook under the same name. Instagram as Matt's.hobbies. And like Johnny said, on the uh, Matt Matt Discord server. Always having a good time there. And you can find me on YouTube at WC Model Railroad. I'm on Facebook under the same name, as well as Instagram. If you just look up WC. Uh, model railroad uh, you can i try to kind of post on there as much as i can i try to do um three four photos a week and i am trying to get back into doing some more videos as well uh so stay tuned for that and uh like the other gentleman uh we, i am also in the discord as well and it's it uh it's actually been very very active lately i do have to say people getting a lot especially when people uh get a lot of uh new engines in and lionel and mt8 start uh, shipping their stuff uh, people want to kind of show off their stuff and you know, make videos and, you know, stuff like that. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so again, folks, uh, please, you know, the most important thing for us is that you're enjoying it. And uh, the best way to show us that you're enjoying it is just to leave us feedback anywhere in the Discord. Send us an email. If any of the social media apps have a way of leaving feedback, we would really appreciate it. Uh, with that said, have a good night, folks, and uh, have a wonderful and uh, happy holidays. Take good care, everyone. See everyone.